Okay, everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Last time we did some crappy CPR, saved a little girl's life, and then got volunteered for a dangerous job that could kill us. So, let's get on with that job. Um, if you can't tell, there's different music in the upper world of Junon because Rufus is in town. So we gotta sneak up there and uh, find out what's going on with Sephiroth, and maybe pay some more respects to uh, Rufus, since we didn't get to finish him in the last battle. And I'm a little stuffed up today, so I do apologize. What's Mr. Dolphin doing? Yep. He can jump, and that's how we're going to avoid getting electrocuted. So she's going to give us a whistle. And we use the whistle to call Mr. Dolphin to um, come in, jump, and propel us out of the water. Now, the funny thing is, you don't even have to move to do this properly. And I'll show you in one second. But first things first, Barrett's gonna want the PHS. Yeah, because it'll break if it gets wet. Good thing, uh, good thing it doesn't rain in the world of Final Fantasy. Yeah, sure. So what you want to do is, first of all, don't touch anything. Just press the switch button, which for me is my Y button on the Xbox 360 controller. And Mr. Dolphin will come, push you up, and you'll fall into this part of the water here. Once again, don't move, just press the button again. And there. Up to the top, that's all you have to do. You don't even have to move, you just have to press switch, or whatever button it is on the PlayStation twice. Soon, my pretty, you will be mine. <sighs> yep, we're gonna get that airship eventually. Not for a while, though. So. Oh well. Nothing we can do here right now. So we're just gonna run over here. And this took me so long the first time I ever played this game to figure out what I had to do. You have to run over to this platform and activate the switch to send the, uh loading platform back to the ground level. And there goes the music again, so we know we're getting close. And Cloud is going to be mistaken for a Shinra troop. So just follow. Just uh, heed his actions, get into the room, yeah, yeah, yeah. And go over to this locker, press the X button in front of it, and change into the uniform. And there we are, back in our old Shinra uniform. Damn right I look good. Eh, not really. And they're gonna help. Well, one's gonna do the march and the other one's just gonna sing. Unlike other people that have a lot more views than I do, I'm not going to sing my own Rufus uh, song. I mean, I kind of want to, but my uh, regular voice without singing is uh, annoying enough. Okay, yeah, I don't need everything. We're all clear. So basically, um, Rufus is in town for some reason, and we're marching in a parade. And what is going to happen is the captain's going to tell you to run you have to run to the back row of a group of soldiers and just march in line with them and um, shoulder your gun a bunch of times. And depending on how you do, that depends on... Um, it affects the TV ratings, and then that can affect the prizes that you want. 
Um, if you're going for perfect, you have to get above 50, I believe, to get the best item. I honestly don't care enough. Um, you get a pretty funny response if you do horribly. But you get a decent, and in fact, I would say maybe even a better uh, reward if you get, I want to say, 25 to 49, maybe 30 to 49. I don't know. Somewhere in there. Basically, if you do horrible, the TV producer says, What the hell was that soldier doing? Someone send him a bomb or something, and you get a grenade. And we'll see. Maybe I'll screw it up enough, and maybe that's what I'll get. But I'm going for the middle prize, which is six others. And there's that huge gun. That huge gun will come into play soon, and it's going to be one of the best uh, videos of the game, in my opinion. But, that's a ways away. And we arrived late for the parade, so we gotta duck down a shortcut to uh, catch up. And you just wanna run over to them over here. Don't worry about the shops. We'll inspect these shops earlier. Or later, I should say. And, yep, let me go. So we're gonna duck down this alley, and there you can see the TV ratings, which are absolute garbage, apparently. <clears throat> and right there, you see how that soldier ran and snuck into the back row and the TV ratings went up? That's pretty much what we're gonna do, but not quite. And TV ratings are dropping again, probably because we're standing there and not marching. Okay, so he's going to tell us, and we're going to run into the back. And yeah, don't try to go in the front, or you will... You'll be forced to start over again, and the ratings will drop. So he's going to tell us to go. Or not. Okay, we're marching. Can you tell us to go? Huh. Oh. Well, maybe I was just too late. Because normally he says to uh, go in that first um, group. So now you just want to march. And shoulder your gun repeatedly. And I'm apparently... Nope. Nope, so I didn't get the others. So, whatever how my test run I did. Are the points up? No. <laughs> So we got the grenade, but we got the uh, funnier version of the text. That's really weird, because on my dry run, I did exactly that, and I got the points up into the 40s, so... Oh well, whatever. No big deal. And there's Rufus and Heidegger. Apparently no one caring that we're not even facing the correct way. Oh, there we are. What job? <clears throat> Excuse me. The airship. Oh, it must have been that ship that we uh, saw. Three more days. Hmm, that's interesting, because I thought that we find out. Yeah, first of all, I love that he tells him to stop with his stupid laugh. Uh, we find out that Galinka is actually underwater. Now, I thought it was always underwater. Um, I don't know, maybe it does get shot down in the game. Maybe I just don't remember that. Oh well. We'll find out eventually, I guess. New Age President of Shinra. And now Heidegger is going to run at us for some reason. I have no idea why. Punching at the air at us. And now running back to the elevator. I don't know. He's a weird dude. I'm glad when we finally take care of him. And now we're going to get yelled at for screwing up. Which happens no matter how you did. Ah, there we are. 
So that's why he's in a bad mood, is that Sephiroth is in the city, but no one can find him. I know where he's going, but... Oh, he killed a few soldiers. I know where he's going, but it's not time for us to know yet. And before we can get too much chatter, we're going to be dismissed, and this gentleman is going to yell at us for screwing up and say he's going to drill. Yeah, who cares? No break. So we're going to drill on the special uh, send-off for Rufus. And this one you want to do well, because if, um, if you got a hundred or better, you get a Force Stealer, which is an upgraded weapon for Cloud. So, um, if you're on the PlayStation, it's a lot easier because um, the controls that you use are the PlayStation buttons. Once again, because I'm playing Steam, it doesn't give me the buttons, but I know which buttons are which, so. So you'll see here. Yeah, I'm ready. So, okay. Which is my X button. Menu, which is my, or excuse me, okay is my A button. Menu is my X button. Switch is my Y button. Cancel is my B button. And then left and right are just left. So there's OK. Menu. Switch. Cancel. Left turn. Right turn. Got it. I got it. And now we're going to do um, our special pose for the send-off. And Cloud's going to be the one to ask to do it. And of course, for a send-off, you know Cloud's only got one move. <laughs> and um, you're going to press the OK button, which I think is the X button on the X on the uh, PlayStation, to do it at the end of the uh, send off. Okay, so now that we're dismissed, we can go see Rufus off at the docks, or we can just roam the town and the streets of Junon. So let's do that and see if we can pick some stuff up along the way. Oh, I wonder if that's one of the Turks. I wonder if we can actually catch up to him. It could just be a businessman, but maybe it is one of the Turks. No, no, stop, 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 stop. Shit, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope, wanted nothing to do with us. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Okay, I don't think there's anything I want in here. But we'll see what this guy has. What do you have? Oh, just a materia shop if you want. You know what? I'll get a third sense material. What the hell? Uh, seal. I'll get one seal because I don't have it. I have the three restore that I need. I have the one heal that I need. And now this is one I am actually going to buy three of the revive materia. Um, I'm not going to equip it yet. I'm going to use uh, the revive materia later when I get another materia to pair it to on my armor, which is one of the best combinations to use. And we'll talk about that much later when I get that materia. And I think this is just the item shop, and I don't think I have any. Let's see. Well, you know what? I will work on limit breaks eventually, so let's grab some hypers. And I already have eight tranquilizers, so I don't need any more. Uh, make sure you have at least one tranquilizer upcoming. I don't think it really matters, but you give one to one person at a time. At a certain time. What's going on here? You got anything for us? Huh? Ah, so go in the corner, talk to this guy. <clears throat> and he will lead you down to um, a trainer's hall where you can ask questions about certain stuff. But I already know everything they talk about, but what you really want is the second to enemy skill materia 
and we'll be coming to a point kind of soon, I guess, where we can actually uh, start using that second enemy materia to get all the enemy skills that we have already. And we can get some treasure up here, so the 135th of a soldier model. There's two of them in the game. We will get the next one very soon, and a couple sources. Which I'll use eh, once I collect all the sources. We got in here. Power source. Not going to the parade. No, because he's trying to get first class. Huh. Woof woof. A guard source. We got a magic source, I believe, or a mind source, and a luck source. So we're all done here. Oh. Or I'm just going to be stupid and run back in. And we'll continue on down here. And we'll just run across here. And eventually you can uh, grind AP points down here depending on your materia setup. But first things first, we'll talk to this guy. Oh, the underwater Mako reactor in the submarine dock. <laughs> I'm sure that won't come into play at all in this game. So we'll just run back up here. A couple more stores to check out and then we'll continue on with the game. I don't think there's anything else I really have to get besides the uh, 135th uh, soldier, the second one. And we'll go in here. Oh, that music. Oh, look at this. The Turks are at this bar. I wonder if they recognize us. Nope. Okay, I know. What about you, Elena? wonder if T-Sing has anything... Oh, T-Sing normally tells us to get lost. Oh well. They don't recognize us, so we'll just move on. Couple more stores and shops. So it's a save point. I don't think there's anything in here. Nope. And you can take care of um, that place that's kind of like an inn. And if we run up the stairs, go up the stairs again, talk to this guy. And he's got a couple accessories, one that protects against darkness, and one that protects against sleep. Eh, I don't know if I'll need them, but I'll grab one of each. And then we're gonna run back down to the middle level. Okay. Lots of stores. Girls make more than you. Oh well. I think this is a materia shop. Yep. And I don't need any of those materias. So, let's see. All done here. I'm trying to think where that last piece of the soldier is. I think he's actually in the last shop we're going to visit. Upstairs, maybe? Oh, we got another source. Yep, there it is. The second 135th soldier. Oh, look at this guy. I wonder if it's that uh, Shinra manager from the uh, train. I don't think he recognizes recognizes us from the uh, train. I don't know. You got a bed. I mean, it's noisy, but you do got a bed. Oh well. So we'll go in here. Hey, how's it going? Okay, whatever. And we'll pick up the last source, which is a speed source. All right. So, real quick, I'll use those. And actually, if you want to do a quick... If you want to see. So, we'll look at uh, strength and speed. Strength is 39. And... Speed, I don't know. So, we'll do strength and luck. Luck is 23. And now we'll use the sources. We'll see what happens. 
So we actually have two mind sources to raise Cloud Spirit. No, not a Mega Elixir, not a Hyper. A Luck Source to raise his luck. A Power Source to raise his strength. A Guard Source to raise his... Oh, I forgot to see, I believe it was his defense. And a Speed Source, which actually raises your dexterity. I wonder if that'll help with uh, stealing. Cool. And just real quick, you see his luck is up to 24. His strength is up to 40, so it's just a one increase in base stats. I don't know if there's a way to farm sources later in the game, I'll have to look at that. Well, let's go in here. This is a weapon shop where he's not really selling anything. Because someone screwed up the paperwork. Oh, he forgot to order enough. So these are weapons, we don't need any of them because we have better weapons for everyone. I think there might be another weapon source somewhere in Junon that I might have missed, but um, they don't have anything better than I currently have, so there's no need. And we'll just run over here and we'll do the send off for Rufus, and we're just gonna hop on the boat without knowing anything that's going on with our friends. Okay, here's Teku of Rufus's send off, since I screwed it up so much last time and I didn't get the weapon I want. And like I said, um, if you get a hundred or better, you get a Force Stealer, which is a upgraded weapon for Cloud, and that's the one I want. So I actually saved my game this time so that I can restart easily if I don't get it. Okay. So we just have to do them kind of in time with the uh, other two soldiers. You really stop using left face so much. Yeah, screw that one up. All right, got the hundred I needed. Oh, 130. Yeah, I forgot to mention, if you're ever facing in a different direction, um, to get the 30 points for the special send-off, you gotta make sure that you're facing uh, Rufus. And look at that, Red 13 hiding back there the whole time. So that's how we know that the crew is, or the rest of our group, is gonna sneak on the boat with us. Alright, give me my weapon, you piece of shit. Yeah, do your stupid horse laugh. There we are. Force stealer. Yay! And Red 13 hiding. Oh, so they're planning on using Sephiroth to lure us here. Huh. Little do you know, we're already here. Yeah, he told you to knock off that stupid laugh, dickbag. Uh, once again, fight the air. Why is everyone so scared of him? I have no idea why they're all upset. <laughs> hey, he's a piece of crap. Oh, Hojo disappeared and just left a letter of resignation. That's weird. 
Oh boy, he actually has to do work. What a drag. And I'm pretty sure that soldier in the background, I'm pretty sure that was Tifa. Maybe it was Yuffie. Just going by the jumping that they were doing. And we'll just run onto the ship, because that's the next part of the game. So we're going to a new continent, finally. And there we go. And our little rickety boat. Even though it's like a ocean liner. What shenanigans are taking place on the boat? Okay. Here we are. That's an all material right there, but because we already have Yuffie in our party, she's blocking it. So, give her the one give her at least the one tranquilizer you have. I like how you grow up you grow up on an island, but you get sick out of boats. So if uh, Yuffie wasn't in our party yet, or Yuffie, however you want to pronounce it, we would be able to get that all materia. But we'll be able to get it soon enough. So there. She's uh, all sorts of messed up. I wonder who this person is. It's Eris. Yeah. Huh. Speaking of the things that were that big, Eris, if you know what I mean. I don't know if I'll take you on it one day. Once again, I don't really care who about who I date, so that's why I'm really indifferent to my answers. Okay, so we gotta seek out the rest of the members of uh, our group and find out where this boat's taking us and continue on with the game. So we will do that next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. As always, thanks for watching.